All right, on to briefing Topaz. Uh, we just learned that Countess Frida recently acquired a Topaz, which is now stored in the vault of one of her numerous estates. Uh, you'll team up with Besk for the job. He's a little green, so we've made things easier for you both. Countess Frida will be leaving the estate with her bodyguards the day of the heist. Don't get too relaxed, though. Countess Frida is notoriously paranoid. You can expect well-guarded reinforced doors and similar security measures on your path to the vault. Get the gem and bring it back. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Lots of gold pouches. To be had. We should leave, uh, we should leave Countess. The Dusk Order is waiting for us. Gah, it's pouring out there. This better be worth my time. Path's clear. Let's go. Eli says, Is this it? I was expecting more security. Countess Frida is said to be paranoid. Yeah, well, let's not delay. There's an alarm, though. There's always an alarm. Ah, scouting time. Pa, I knew it. They put me with the Jinx duo. The what now? Stay away. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What kind of bird brain works with a spirit of all things? Is that even possible? Not this again. Spirits are dangerous. Haven't you heard about the great spirit disaster? I'm not doing this. No way. I will. Why don't you leave then? Yeah. You don't want to work? Get out. What? But I... I'm sure the leader would be delighted to see you coming back empty-handed. I've heard you're not exactly popular either. After all, no one wants to work with a former guard. Dun dun dun. Ha. <laughs> I didn't know about that one. I... I'm getting bored. See ya. I have a job to do. All right. Besk reluctantly joins the team. Okay. So let's see. Uh, find the topaz. So we have we have a boatload of cash. So lay a glyph that we will refill your team's actions when triggered by any of your thieves. Interesting. Let's see. Uh, the target gets drunk, never stays alert. Drunk guards never become permanently alert or enraged. This seems very, very, very strong. So Besk... Besk has, the, has swap position at the moment. And then also Brass Knuckles, which has a push. And if you push one enemy into another, they get stunned. And then we have the opportunity to get drop a trained rodent on the ground that will steal everything from the next guard walking by. The pet rat will ignore guards without loot or items. Placing the pet rat again while it's still out will move it. Huh. That's interesting. Hey, happy panda. How's it going? We're trying something a little new. Now, if we take one of these, though, does it replace invisibility, I wonder? I think I'm going to take the Spirit Curse. Because that seems very good. Yeah, yeah. So we were uh, we were given a key by uh, Ishtar Games, uh, the publisher. They're the publisher. And, uh, and Koi Snowman. Uh-oh, am I getting that wrong? Hold on. Let me, let me go double check. I uh, want to make sure that I'm, uh, I'm representing things properly. Yes, Koi Snowman Games are the developer. All right, so we picked up we picked up the drunk thing. I don't think we need. I mean, brass knuckles seems like it wouldn't be a bad thing. I just I just don't know if we want to spend the money on it right now. I'm also super curious if I pick up another one of these. Kill a target three tiles away with a disposable blade. Once permission can only equip one dagger ability at a time. Neither of these are dagger abilities. Let's see if we can get a third one. 
Too many selected abilities. Okay, so that's what I was worried about. Okay, so we probably didn't want to pick that up. We probably wanted to go the other way, but nonetheless, let's get let's get Trin out there and do some uh, d do some exploring. Not sure where we will. I'm gonna curse. This guy seems to be moving around a lot, so we'll slap a we'll slap a curse on him. Oh, we can't go through this door. Anyways, annoyed guard. What does annoyed mean? We I don't think we know yet. These are even worse than the fist statues. I love I love that this game has like a statue review review mechanism. So let's see. We got we got a lot of ground to cover here. I was I was kind of hoping that I would be able to Okay, so th that's our Ness rune, or at least the first one. So I can do that. This guy should look off to the left, and then we can get that. That opens up the potential here. We got this nice courtyard here. Oh, Trin got caught. Trin can't die and will always respawn when noticed by guards. Lose some scouting progress as a penalty. Rewinds can be used during the scouting phase and are replenished at the start of the loot phase. Okay, so we'll we'll rewind that one. Okay, so we'll do that to open that up, but then we will zip back to over here. So that guy's just patrolling. I wonder if he's a good target for making drunk. Hard to know. So the, this is guard sleeping will wake up at danger level two. Guard sleeping will wake up at danger level three. Okay, well, let's move to here. We should be safe behind this box from this guy. Never stays alert. Drunk guards can never become permanently alert or enraged. I want to see. Does this even work on? So now he's drunk and annoyed. That didn't... I was kind of hoping maybe it would remove the Annoyed moniker. Let's see. This guy seems to be a problem. We can't, we can't go off to the right. We don't... I guess we could have gone through this door if we really wanted to. This guy... I think we, we can move here safely. So there's a guy that's patrolling back and forth here. Hey, Robbie, I'm doing well. It's good to see you. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. So let's see. So if I move to here, we should be safe and see, we can see what's going on there. Now he moves all the way to the door, which means this is a safe tile here. This is probably also a safe tile here. Okay. So far, so good. I'm not, I'm not really sure who we should make drunk. Looks like we can't make... A cow outside your window? That is, uh, that's something. Okay, so this guy's facing the wall, so I think we can teleport behind you here. We don't see any footsteps over here, so let's move over here. Drunk yourself, why waste good alcohol? Amazing. Ledgers and letters, boring. Okay, so this is what we were looking for, though, I think. 
Why does why is there an annoyed symbol over the chest? Our target is here. We simply need to open the reinforced doors and find the round key. Dot, dot, dot. I must have missed something. I should scout some more. Okay. So we found the topaz, but we don't know how to get in. Another exit. Neat. Okay. So, so if we... If we find a blue, if we figure out a way to get a blue key, we will be able to loot this room and then get out. Can I, can I use this on you? Appears that sleeping guards can't be spirit cursed. Okay, I, I don't think we're currently safe to do that. This guy, I think, is going to walk all the way down to here. I think this is probably a safe spot. Let's try teleporting to here and see. So what the heck did I miss? Ah, uh, this blue door up here. Okay, that's where we probably need to go. Let's see. Does this... I think this window means that we're not safe. So I'm going to stay where we are. This guy seems like he's very central and annoying. So let's drunk him up. Inspect this point as part of your objective. Okay, let's move to here. Okay, so this... Oh, we need to look at this guy? Okay, maybe that's what it's asking us to do. The guard next to the pit carries a round key. Oh, I can get over the, over the pit. What? How? Haha. -ha. Wait, Besk, that amulet you wear, it's a swap position amulet. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I've seen it in the vault. I don't know what you're... Oh, I see now. Let me guess, you borrowed it from the guild. Uh... Oh, come on, everyone does it. Okay, so we've, we've, already, we've already cursed this guy up. We can, I think we can move safely to here. And then this room, we just have this one guy here, it looks like. So I think we're relatively safe. Oh, there was something we were supposed to inspect down here, too. Um, let's... Let's, uh, let's do up here first, I guess. This guy might have been a good guy to to drunk. We've got both those guys on lock. Okay, so we'll move to here. We'll inspect this. Lever should open the reinforced doors, so we'll need a way to reach it. Why can I hear you? So I was supposed to do this first. Uh, spirit telepathy. You get used to it. If you say so. Okay, we got that. What's on the plaque? The doors are to stay closed at all times due to recent troubles with trespassers. Okay. That was kind of close. Uh, let's move to here. We know this is safe from this guy's view. Yeah, this would have gotten us uh, sniped. And then with you moving back like that, we do need to inspect whatever is over here. So let's start by teleporting to here. And then I guess we go to here. Well, to get through this door, we might have to use this window, actually. So yes, yeah, so let's move to here. Oh, no, we can just teleport through the wall. Okay. We can move to... Okay, can't move to there. Just kidding. 
we we will rewind that. I'm surprised that did not indicate. Now, hold on. We've done that one. So we still need to do that. Okay, it does show footsteps now. So that was... Uh... No, actually, okay, we can't... These gates seem to prevent access to the eastward part of the building. Okay. I guess we'll move back here. We'll be a little more careful this time. Uh, now we can see that. Okay. Let's move to here. We'll wait a turn for this guy to turn around. This guard in the kitchen is carrying a square key. Okay. So now I think we're fully scouted. Oh, but we haven't used... We didn't use all of our all of our drunks. This guy seems central and like he's going to be a problem. Oh, wait. Oh, when we use a drunk, we, we have one less spirit curse to use then. So see if I... Oh, no. No, I was incorrect. What was that logo? Okay, so we'll do something like that. We'll do our long range travel. And then I think we're ready for phase two of this. Yeah, we've got all the check marks on the scouting phase. So, maybe, maybe we want to live up here. There's nothing exciting up there. Okay, so let's, let's think about our plan here. So when we first go in, so I, I don't know if we're going to have both of, our, both of our folks. I think we are. So the blue key is here, and the blue key door is up here. It's weird that there's a square lock and then there's a square key here. The round key is here. We're probably going to have to use swap position to get there. So the ordering here is a little funky. So I think we need this blue key first and foremost. Then... We need the round key to get into the vault, which we can do through here. But this guy is this guy is annoying. We need to go down into this room for sure. But that's after we pull the lever. How do we get past this door right here? Isn't this a reinforced door? Huh. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next phase, and I guess we'll see. Maybe that's part of the trick. Here, my job is done. You know, I had my doubts, but this helps a lot. Well, duh. Ready? I guess. Let's go. Don't you forget which side you're on, guard man. Yeah, yeah. I kind of feel like we should get as close as possible because as soon as we pop the door, we're gonna have we're gonna have a problem. Let's split up. We have a lot to do, a lot to do, and a little time to do. You speak my mind. Oh, maybe that's why there's two blue keys. So, so I think we go south. This guy's going to come up. I don't think he sees this tile. I kind of don't want to find out the hard way. He he never looks to the left, so I think this is I think this tile is safe.
Let's see. So does it make sense for... How, what is the range on swap position, I guess, is the first question. Hey, Mean No. How's it going? We're, we're trying out something new. This is, uh, this is a, a new game that I was, uh, I was kindly given a key to. Uh, Spirited Thief. So let's see. So we need... Someone needs to come get the blue key. I think ultimately we need to swap over. So I think Besk needs to be coming up this way. So I think we just move to here. Because this guy's not going to like look around. But then you... And then I think you need to move to here. Yeah, and then this guy's not going to move around either. So we can we can go past you, get this, and then find our way back. Okay. Okay, so let's make sure your purse gets lightened. And then you can... Guard is watching this position. Fair, fair point. I think we have to wait for them to turn around, which is okay. Okay. So let's see. So... We can move to here, which I think is a safe tile. And then you... The alarm levels are ticking. I'm trying to figure out where we're trying to get to. If I stand here, you're going to walk up, so we should be safe. Okay. Now, I'm, I, one thing I'm curious about is whether we... Uh, so let's see, I can blue move to here, yeah. take the key. Then I can move back to here, and this is a safe spot. Now up here, we, we need the round key, which I think the way that we're going to do that is we're going to run into this door, and then we're going to swap positions with this guard. Yeah, he goes back to sleep, which is, is good for business. Now, swap is on a long cooldown. I was thinking maybe we could go to this window and swap with this guy. That might actually be pretty good. But we have, we have a long time before we're going to be able to do that. Oh, we also need to see if... The key ring certainly looks shared. So part of me is wondering if... Well, it's, it's going to be a while before we can swap again. So I don't see a... I don't see value to doing that. And then until we flip this switch, these reinforced doors are not going to come open. So... I think we, I think we goofed. Because I think before we swapped positions, we should have used the blue key up here and gotten this sorted out. Let's uh let's restart from last checkpoint. Oof. I moved them to the wrong places, but that's okay. Oh, in fact. Hold on. It looks like if we if we go super aggressively with our movement, it looks like maybe we can get in and do this all like one turn sooner.
Although this guy, how are we, are we going to be able to pickpocket him? I think technically this is a safe spot. We're so early in. Let's, let's try and learn. Oh, we don't get the pickpocket though. Well, we have time to, we have time for that. It does appear like you can move diagonally past people, which is good. But now that we've got, now that we've got that sorted, I think we can move to this tile. You look and sound like my university professor. Uh, I am not, but uh, but welcome. That's uh, that's a very curious uh, similarity. What uh, what part of the world are you from? No key for you, steward. Yeah, I'm sure he will soon regret having locked those doors. All right, so we f we pulled the latch, or did we flip the switch? No, now we did. What does this say? The doors are to stay closed at all times. Got it. Okay. So we still now now that we've done that, there's nothing left in this room, I don't think. So we can safely move to here. UK classes. I used to live in uh I used to live in London many, many moons ago. Okay, so this reinforced door is open. Which means now we can make a beeline for the goodies. I do think we're going to have to club this guy if we want to get to the secret. Cause I, oh no, he does rotate. Okay, never mind. So we can move to here. And then you... This guy, I think, is about to come back. So I think we just move to here and hope that this, this guy isn't about to wake up. I think he is about to wake up. We get the secret. I think we come up this way. So let's see. So I can move to here and I can pickpocket him. I think that's what we want to do. Oh. Did, didn't work out. The, I do forget that they, they are going to move right after. But we can move to here, which is where we wanted to go anyways. Get his money. And then this is still a blue move. Thank you. And then I'm wondering, I think this is probably the safe spot. I, that was uh, that was a good read to be sure. So now that we've we've covered everything over here, so I'm starting to I'm starting to see the matrix a little bit on this one. So now we use swap position. We okay. We're just we're just gonna chill on this side. Uh, we should not be seen. I don't think. Okay, guards wake up next turn. This guard here is is relatively problematic. I think but I but I also don't think we can get by this guard without clubbing him. Maybe maybe not. Maybe maybe we club this guard just so that this cuz oh, this guy's going to wake up next turn. Or wait, no, we just hit we just hit danger level two. This guy wakes up at danger level three. So we have we have time. Yeah, these guys are the ones that are waking up. Okay, so I think I think we sneak by this guy. So what I think we do here is move to here, do that. We're gonna blackjack this guy. And then that means that you can safely move a lot yeah this is the least effective guard I think the world has ever seen uh, now this guy I may have we may have needed to use the club on this guy here Possibly, but maybe not. 
can we just... I feel like we can use our invisibility to sort this out. So let's just hoof it to here. Okay, that's not great. Um, I didn't think this guy turned around, etc. Uh, all right. Also, I thought this candelabra provided us some protection. So, so we can safely move to this tile here. Because this guy, he only ever sees one one spot and then I think we can move you to here okay uh no uh no it's it's very much like invisible ink if you ever played that if you if you end up in in these spaces you are in jeopardy although I I said no but technically uh things like invisibility potion uh they say they can have the quick modifier, which means you can use them when you are threatened. So, so that is the the one exception. So we're just gonna skip this turn, and then hopefully we can get everybody behind this bookcase. I don't think there's there's nothing left to do down here. So we can just poise ourselves to get out. And then... I'm worried at some point this guy is going to become alert and we're going to have a problem. So, okay. So there's no... I don't think there's any reason to keep you here. So we can do that. And then you have invisibility. But I don't think we're going to need... I'm hoping we're not going to need to use it. And I think, okay, because of the way that we're set up, we'll do we'll do this, and we're going to get spotted, but we know we have the invisibility potion, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, so we... So we, we pickpocket that. Uh, I guess we, we pop that. There we go. And then we run out. And there we go. That's a perfect run. Not bad. I I'm liking I'm liking the puzzling out, right? So like you really have to kind of see the matrix. I don't know if it's always going to be like two people per uh, per crew, but there's something very uh, very satisfying about about kind of figuring out where people need to be, what abilities they need to have in order to perfect a run. Seems seems very cool. All right, let's let's do we'll do maybe one more level or or maybe two, and then we'll uh, we'll probably swap over and get some uh, some last spell going. But but yeah, let's uh, let's give this uh, let's give it another run here. All right, so another 